when you just kind of your whoa your journey has been kind of it's it's been a journey hasn't yeah. it and uh, what's it like to be here finally and, 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 and on this journey well what you well like you said it's been a journey for me uh face a lot of adversity but i feel like i finally found myself at a place to where i can just be able to play you know and be able to just face adversity and be able to get through it like i feel like louisville's a home for me and i feel like it's a place to where i can do big things and we can do a lot you always seem like you were a little maybe underappreciated as yeah. far as rankings are concerned. I know a lot of guys don't think about that, but did you always kind of feel like that way? I did feel like I was underranked a little bit, but I really didn't care for it. Like I said, I'm a humble, hardworking kid to where it's like, it's going to show. Like, my game's going to show for me, so I really didn't care much for it. You were injured. How much did that kind of alter everything? And now that you look back, it's kind of like you're, like you said, you're in a good spot now. It worked out, but how much did that alter things? Well, when, I feel like the injury didn't really, it didn't really alter too much. It kind of just showed me what I need to work on, what I can do to better myself. And I feel like and in, the injury actually helped me become better and feel like it made me faster and stronger. Like, I, I learned a lot from my, in, my injury and I feel like I'm excited to show the world what I've been working on. So. Do you? You know, I know. L told me last week he gets upset when people talk about the lack of guards. Fabio just said it's kind of a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. Is that is a little chip on your shoulder? Yeah. Because the, the people saying the lack of guards is something that we take pride in. I feel like we got guards. Like we can all play, we can all hoop, and like I said, we just gotta show people that it's like David and Goliath. It's like we're gonna bring our slingshots every game. So, For, as far as your game, what do you feel like? you bring coach was just talking about your grit your heart you know toughness and that but even more than that what do you bring this team when you're out there well with me i'm a hard worker and i stay humble but uh i lock up i take pride in defense i feel like with me bringing uh my intensity on defense is like just builds everyone up and it just helps like just win honestly i feel like everything i do on the court it's about that time yes sir what, what can you say about the anticipation for the start of the season from this team, man? Are you guys like, man, we can't wait? Uh, or are we like, man, we need to we need to power some things off before we get? No, I feel like we, most, most of the times I feel like all of us are ready. Like, everyone's excited for season. Uh, we worked hard the whole summer, worked hard doing practice and everything. I feel like <laughs> we can't just wait for season to start, honestly. Like, every time I just think about a game, I just, it brings a smile to my face. So I feel like... We're ready. We're ready. I'm curious how much how much did you watch Louisville last year and the struggles that that they were going? Because I know you you're pretty connected to the city yeah. and whatnot. But how 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 was it watching the team struggle last year? You know, honestly, I always been a Louisville fan since I was younger. Uh, I watched more towards the beginning of the season when they were they were doing all right, and I felt like teams gonna face adversity, face times where they're not winning, and it's just I felt like Louisville. We're able to just keep continue playing, and I know it was a hard season last year, but I seen some some good things about it. Why'd you come here? Louisville, like I said, has always been a second home for me. Uh, also, KP around here, he's him and my dad's been friends since a young age, and I just seen Louisville as a place for me, with many opportunities where I'm able to come and play and just get in the community. That's also a big thing with me. I feel like Louisville is a place where I can connect with the community, the kids around, and that's a big thing I like to do in my life is connect with kids around to help talk about what they go through in their adversity. You know, when the Louisville fans see you this fall, for those who haven't ever seen you play, what what do you bring to the court? Uh, well, me, I'm a hard worker. I want people to see that. I'm going to give 110% of everything I do. Uh, I love defense. I'm a defensive stopper. And I just bring energy. What do you think this team will hang its hat on? What what is when when it's all said and done, what will be you think the fingerprint of the squad? I think for us it's pretty much just being dogs. Like we work so hard, condition so hard to be dogs. So I think that's just one thing that we focus on is just going out on the court is like games we got a tough schedule ahead of us. So every game is gonna be a dog fight. And I think that I want people to know that we're focused on being tough and being try to be the toughest team out. You know, when you look down that schedule, man, what are, what are some of the games that jump out at you? I don't really have specific games that jump out to me. Like I said, it's a tough schedule overall. I'm just excited that we're able to play games like this. Like ACC, we're in that best, I feel like ACC is a great conference. I feel like we're going to be able to just have a dogfight every night. So. What, what have the fans told you about about 
the support that you guys have? So far, I found out that Louisville fans show so much love. It's like you just walk around stores and people recognize you and be like, yeah, let's go Car Nation. So I'm excited for that, just the love that people bring around here. You know, Coach talked about the conditioning and how tough it was how, uh, and his process to get you guys ready. What, could, what can you say about that? Yeah, know, nah, coaching condition is next level. Like, I came here knowing that I'm in good condition, at least I thought. And then KP's conditioning was, I can't tell you. Words can't explain what it's like. Now, when we look around this room, man, um, between me and you, who are some of the guys who who have been dunked on the most dunked and the guys the doing the dunking? Oh, I can't really Who's say catching too, bodies, I can't man. really say too much. I just know our team got a few high flyers. Like, I, be, I get on the rim sometimes, but person who's been dunking the most in practice probably or gets on the rim most, the time I tell you this, but J.J. Right now. My favorite player is sneakers. I gotta go with Jordan's retro, any retros. Uh, probably the Levens. Levens, I like the Levens. Uh, favorite basketball sneaker, probably the Kobe. Kobe eights. Man, we appreciate your time, man. Uh, definitely, we'll be checking in with you soon, man. 35 KY Sports. The coach talked about how difficult the practices have been, and that it's really bringing out the best of you all, and sometimes the worst. He didn't use the, the word worst, but they're hard. Tell me what it's bringing out of you. Well, with me, I feel like, like you said, the practices we go through, they're not easy. And some people may say they're impossible, but coach makes it hard for us to bring out what we don't know we have. Like, I feel like it's just bringing an inner dog out of you. Like, I feel KP pushing us to give our full potential, and that's what's going to help us with our most success during the season. So. What has the practices brought the best out of you? For me, personally, I feel like the practices brought out just my ability to be able to lead when face diversity, like, for example, fatigue or if you're tired, like, it help you push through that and just keep everyone together. What are the fans going to expect this year? For me, you know, we're still, I still feel like we're underdogs. People don't really believe in us fully, and I just want people to just stay in tune and just think about how we're working hard. So I'm like, we're trying to shock people. So that's our big goal this year is to shock people and just to remain humble and keep working hard.